this video, I'm going to run through a tutorial on how to use if statements in OpenOffice. And these turn out to be incredibly useful. And once you understand them and can use them, your ability with OpenOffice will increase greatly. You'll be able to do so many more calculations and have so much better sheets and far more functionality. So let's explain these by doing two examples. But first, let's look at the syntax or the way that you write this. Uh, this is a basic outline of how it's done. You write if, you would put in equals, but I don't want to run this because this would be nonsense to the computer. But you put in if, then you come up with some test. For example, you would say some cell, say A1, and you would test if that equals zero, if it's greater than zero or less than zero. And if this test here is met, so if A1 was zero, say, then it would do this instruction here, and if it's not the case, then it would do this. So you have a test, and you do this if it's true, and you do this if it's false. And these are separated by semicolons. And this is the basic way to write this. So let's look at this first example. So we try to determine if something is on or off. And this could be an electrical circuit, say, and this is perhaps voltages. And if the circuit is, let's just assume it's a circuit, um, if it's on, then the output is going to be something that's not zero. So we could write an if statement that will figure out from this output the state of the system. So we put an if, we've got two brackets, so what test could we do? Well we could click here and say A4 equals zero, semicolon, and what we, so if this is true, if A4 does equal zero, that's going to mean that the circuit is off. So we put in these two um, quotation marks. A quotation mark indicates a string, which in computer science is the way that words are saved as. So this would mean that it's off, and a semicolon. So if it's not zero, then it would be on. And then we press enter. And well, this is what figured out that if the output is one, it must be on. And we can drag this down and see how this is figured out. When this is zero, that's off. This is 169.2, it's on. That's a very simple example here. Let's do something more complicated, and this comes into the concept of nested if statements. So we're going to have an if statement inside an if statement. Because we've got several things going on here. We want to find the price to earnings ratio. So we take the price and divide it by the earnings. This is very common in finance. It's one of the key metrics that investors look at. And so if you're doing an MBA, this is something you would probably have to calculate in some sort of project. Okay, so we could just say this equals this divided by this, but there are some complexities here. If we were to do this, say we just say this equals this divided by this. Or, oh, sorry, uh, if we do the price divided by this on this line here, we're going to get this error divided by zero, because dividing by zero is really undefined, so that's no good. And here we've got a negative one, so that's going to give us a weird answer. So we need some extra controls, and we can do this with if statements. This if statement is going to get a little bit complicated. So we're going to do equals if, and capital letters on the if. All functions in OpenOffice are capitals. So let's say if the earnings are greater than zero, so if the earnings are positive, then we're going to do the simple multiplication, or rather division. If the earnings are positive, we'll do just price divided by earnings. But what if they're negative? Well, if they're negative, then we do something else, and if they're zero, we have to do something else again. So we have another if statement here, and remember, I close the brackets. The brackets have to match up. You see how this bracket matches with this bracket, and these two brackets are together. That can confuse people. Now, what test could we do here? Well, let's test if it's equal to zero. So if earnings equal, well, it has to be inside that bracket, equals zero, then what's the case if they're not equal to zero? Well, that means the company is either not listed or it's bankrupt. And if the earnings are, so if the earnings are not 
greater than zero. Oh, here, here we go. That bracket's a bit wrong. So, uh, if the earnings are not greater than zero, then in here we're going to put that the company is loss making. If we run that, so this is started by saying is B10 greater than zero? B10 is of course greater than zero, so the earnings are greater than zero, therefore it just does the price divided by earnings. Now let's drop down, same case here, drop down once more, not listed bankrupt, so this has done the test here, B10 sorry, jump down here, B12 is greater than zero, well no that's not the case, so it jumps to the second if statement, It now it tests is B12 equal to zero, it says yes, therefore not listed bankrupt, so do this if true, this is true, do this, this here is not true, so it jumps to do all of this. Let's move it down one more, this is normal positive earnings, and drop it down to the last one and it can figure out it's loss making because it's tested this number here is it greater than zero? No, jump to here is it equal to zero? No, jump to here, loss making so there you go, that's how you can work if statements in OpenOffice Calc hopefully this will be helpful to you and I think this will greatly expand what you're capable of doing and the complexity and variety of spreadsheets that you can create. If statements are absolutely fundamental to advanced use of spreadsheets. So hopefully this has been very helpful to you and thank you for watching.